Um, we met at our high school football game. I decided to stay home. But for some reason, somebody else called me to go to the homecoming game. So I went and I first met Cheryl there. Um, we ended up going to the homecoming game. I wasn't going to go, but his friends uh, kind of convinced me to go. So they picked me up. Um, and then Ray happened to come to the game too. And he sat on the other side of our friend. And then we started talking from there. She, she, was, she was there with my friend. So she first, met, first thing she said to me was, you want a soda? I told her, oh, no. <laughs> Well, I knew his friends before I actually met him. So um, when I actually saw him in school, I thought, oh, he's cute. I thought, oh, this is a cute, handsome, skinny guy <laughs> with a mustache. Um, but he was cute. I thought he was really cute. Uh, I first saw her, I thought, I was like, oh, this girl's pretty cute. But honestly, I thought she already had a boyfriend. So I was like, ah. I'm just here with my friends to enjoy the game. But like a couple of days after, yes, babe, you added me on MySpace. And then, yeah, we started chatting on, on AIM. And we got to know each other. Found out she was single. We started talking. Well, before we actually met at the game, I was, you know, being the teeny bopper I am, I added him on MySpace. And then when I met him at the game, um, that's when we started talking. Our first official date was we went to the movies. We watched Deck the Halls. I think that was around like November. I think we cut school that day. I think we cut fourth period that day. Hey, we hung out. We went to eat. Asked Chong, oh, we should go movies. And he's like, ah, no more money. I told him, nah, uh, I could treat you. And I go buy all the popcorn or whatever you like. We watched Deck the Halls, but we didn't really watch it. We were like making out on the side. But that was our first date, our first real date. Sorry again, Mom, but we cut the fourth period a lot, so me and my friend. I think that day she just tagged along with us, and that's when we went to the movies. We had him sit in a corner while we sat on the other side while he watched the movie and we made out. I, to this day, I still don't know what happened in that movie. Yeah, once the movie started, we just started kissing <laughs> for a good hour and a half. <laughs> oh, she's, she's really smart. She, she, if she put her mind to it, she can do anything. I'm really proud of her that she finished nursing school and all that hectic schedule she went through. And of course, her heart, she has a good heart. Now she loves me for me. I love her for her. And more than anything, I don't know, you just been there for me, no matter what. Even if we're fighting, we end up laughing. Uh, another thing that I like about him is that he's hardworking. Um, and the last thing I like about him is that he's patient. I think that's the number one thing, or the number one reason why we're still together after nine years. Um, he's just always patient. She gets mad, and all of a sudden she's happy, but I don't know, I like that about her. She, like, she keeps me sane. She became into an awesome woman. Uh, she's going to be the mother to my child. She means the world to me. Um, I know it's been very stressful these past two months, and I just want to say thank you for being so patient and remaining calm during all this stressful times. Um, I want you to remember that I will always be your sidekick and I'll love you forever. Love you. How's my eyebrows though? Good? Good? All right. Okay. But babe, I love you. With all my heart, all my soul. No matter what happens, I know we can get through this. We've been through so much already. You mean the world to me. Can't wait to start our little family or maybe more, like six kids or so. Brady Bunch, right? <laughs> but babe, I love you. Love you so much. And our little bubs. <laughs> I was gonna say I love you to the moon and back, but uh, I think Pluto is farther, so I love you to Pluto and back, baby.